Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. I am bringing you guys to Disney's Caribbean Beach today, our first moderate resort tour. A moderate resort here at Disney is roughly double the price than your value resorts. However, throughout the year, you can find some really good deals on the moderate resorts compared to the value resorts. Sometimes you can find them almost the exact same price. Let me show you why you should book here at Disney's Caribbean Beach by me giving you a full resort tour and everything that you need to know. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. The first thing that I wanna point out, the main lobby is right here as we just saw a Magical Express pull up, which the Magical Express service is going away starting January 1st, 2022. But you do have parking right here for when you first check in. And then, right out here, you do have your first bus stop very close to the main lobby. Of course, the Disney buses will take you to the theme parks, the water parks, and Disney Springs. But here at Caribbean Beach, it is the hub for the Skyliner. So to get to Epcot or Hollywood Studios, you would take the Skyliner. Disney's Caribbean Beach is a massive resort. I mean, it is huge. And because of that, Disney offers nine different bus stops around this resort, including the one at the Riviera, which I will talk about what the Riviera means to this resort later in the video. But just keep that in mind when booking. This resort is huge. I do want to mention, since this resort is so massive, they do offer an internal bus that will take you around the entire resort to different sections. It takes about 20 minutes from here to take it all the way over and back here and there is a bus from the Disney Skyliner that will take you to where you need to go as well. Also, during peak hours, such as morning time, evening time, park opening, park close, they will run a bus from Epcot to Hollywood Studios. Between those hours, I would plan on doing either the Skyliner or a ride share. But if you want to go to Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, or the water parks, they will run a bus all day long. Right before you walk into the main lobby, you can find bell services. As soon as you walk in, you can find a penny press machine. And by the restrooms, you can find a Chase ATM. And here we are inside of the main lobby. This is where you will check in, check out, or if you have any questions, lots of seating areas. You can find the gift shop in here as well, right here, we'll go in there soon. Also, the dining area right here as well. I stepped outside of the lobby to talk about this really quick. In 2018, Disney did demolish this entire middle section of the resort, which is now the main lobby. Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort opened October 1st, 1988. Just to show you how massive this resort is, take a look. I mean, it is huge. We are right here and also look how close the Riviera is. Well, actually, if we look right here, there you go. The Riviera, very close. Okay, I'm heading back inside of the lobby to check out the market and the gift shop. So check-in is right here, but if we walk a little to your left, you can find the market, and this is where you'll come to get food. Here at Centertown Market, they are wanting you to place your order via the My Disney Experience app or this QR code but if you have an issue, you can still walk up and place your order right here. Breakfast is served from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. And lunch is served from 11 a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. It looks like only one food option is open. These other two seem to be still closed. But this one does offer pretty much everything you would think they would have, like hamburgers, sandwiches, you name it. I did just speak with a cast member and she did inform me that this grab and go location is open in the mornings for coffee and espressos only. If you order a beverage, you will come over here and show the cast member your receipt or if you have a resort refillable mug, it works the same way. They will give you your beverage, but right now they are not offering the Coca-Cola freestyle machines. And right next to the market, you can find the trading post, which is their gift shop. You can find a ton of Disney Skyliner merch in here. Check out some of the resort exclusive merch. We have a coffee mug, a shot glass or a toothpick holder, a hat, very nice. Looks like a luggage tag, 
a keychain. You can find some t-shirts. Very nice. Walt Disney World. I don't think this one is resort exclusive merch. And then this one. Very cool. You can purchase your resort refillable mugs at the register and you can find some alcohol behind the register as well. Lots of grab and go items. There's some snacks back here as well. And you have a ton of wine. And the gift shop is open from 8 a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. So far, I really like the theming of this resort. It's very tropical. We have some pin trading happening in the main lobby. I'm back outside. I do wanna let you guys know, if you want to eat outside, there is an option from the food court right here. Looks like right now, they are not offering the boat rentals so if this is something you and your family would like to do when you're here on vacation, be sure to check and see if it's open. The Riviera is super close to this resort. You can walk via the pathway and this will give you more dining options. Coming back to the Riviera to give you guys some history. So technically the Riviera is a part of Caribbean Beach. Disney demolished two sections of Caribbean Beach to make room for the Riviera and they did reshape this lake here to make it wider for the Riviera. So that's pretty dang cool. So you kind of get two resorts for one because you can walk to and from each resort. Very convenient. When you walk out of the backside of the lobby, I do want to point out you can find Sebastian's and this is your table service restaurant. Currently, this restaurant is not open. But if you walk around to the other side of the restaurant going towards the pool, you can find Banana Cabana, which is the poolside bar, but you can order food from Banana Cabana. So keep that in mind. Right outside of Sebastian's, you can find the main pool. Look at this. It is a very nice pool, very spacious. Also, they do have a really cool water slide at the main pool, but right next to that, you can find the splash pad area for the little ones. You can pick up your towels before entering, and then to return them, just drop them off before you head back to your room. And they do offer life vest. By the way, the cast members are very friendly here, but he did inform me the pool will stay at about 82 degrees year round. Also, this pool has a zero entry, so no stairs. You can walk right into the pool. The pool hours? 10 a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. For privacy reasons, that way we don't get too close with the camera, the hot tub is right here. So many turtles right here and ducks. As you're leaving the main pool here, you will find this bridge to this island called Caribbean K. And this is where you can find the playground. And it's also a little cheat to get to the other side of the resort. Also on this island, you can find some rentable areas so like if you have like a family reunion or a wedding or a big family event you can look into this option but look at the gondolas very nice and then you have the playground right here Ooh, and a cannon look at these random cannons over here i'm still on this island there's the marina right there I did want to point out, there's Aruba right here, the pink buildings, but I want to say this if you're planning on spending a lot of time at Epcot because you are so close to the Riviera Skyliner entrance and that will take you right to Epcot. So keep that in mind. Here is the playground for your little ones. They do have hand sanitizer placed out here. Capacity is currently 10 guests and I did want to mention a cast member will still come over here every so often and wipe down the playground surfaces. I do also want to point out each section of this resort has a beachfront here with chairs, looks like a hammock, and some sand. The lobby, the main pool, and the hot tub was right here. And then over the waterfront here, you can see this peach building, and this section is called Barbados. I wanted to show you this because Barbados is one of two preferred brooms that this resort offers because how close you are to all of the amenities. There are poolside activities. Today you have movie under the stars, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Looks like, yeah, poolside games and activities, Mickey tie-dye shirts. The other preferred section of this resort is Martinique. I believe I said that right. 
But I want to point out, look how close you are to the Riviera. So again, that will give you even more dining options. I do also want to mention each section of this resort does offer a bus stop, a quiet pool, and laundry. Look at this. So we ran into some very nice friends here and they ordered groceries from Walmart two days ago when they were still in Philly and they dropped them off just now. And you can also use Amazon to get your groceries delivered. We are now here in Jamaica and this is pretty much where everybody likes to stay because how close it is to everything besides the Riviera. You still have a little bit of a walk and you have the Skyliner right here, super close. Also it is for the most part, pretty quiet right here. Again, we have Jamaica right here. We have parking lots on both sides and look how close you are to the bus stop. And again, every section does have a bus stop that looks like this. Right now, that is the internal resort shuttle, which will take you to each section around the resort. If you get here and if you find out that you need to take the Skyliner to Epcot or Hollywood Studios, look how close you are to the entrance to the Skyliner and this is another reason why Jamaica is preferred to most people staying at this resort. Also on the Disney buses they now offer Wi-Fi on board. We are still here in the Jamaica section of this resort but I wanted to show you one of the leisure pools. They're all pretty standard they all look the same. Again you can find a leisure pool at every section of this resort it's very quiet pretty nice this pool does not offer a zero entry point but this pool is ada compliant with a lift and a railing the leisure pools also offer life vest for the little ones next to every leisure pool here at this resort you can find a laundry facility i do want to mention one of you left a comment in one of my last resort tours telling me that if you only have cash you can actually go to the front desk and they will give you a laundry card to use at the laundry facility. I am now on the beachfront near Jamaica, and I just wanted to give you guys an idea to what the beachfront looks like. Like I had mentioned, you have hammocks, chairs, and sand. And if you wanna go for a run, this resort offers Barefoot Lake, and it's a jogging trail that will take you around the resort and around the Riviera. We looked it up, right now it says it is a 0.6 mile jog but i think they are missing out the riviera because that information was from a few years ago so keep that in mind all right just to recap we have the lobby the main pool barbados and now we are walking to trinidad so let's go check that out right now and one of the biggest selling points for this section of the resort which is trinidad they offer the pirate rooms and look at that. I do really want to stay in one of these, hopefully very soon. Another reason why guests love staying at the Trinidad section of this resort is because they offer a bar quick service called Spyglass Grill. Unfortunately, it has yet to reopen. We are now here in the Trinidad Leisure Pool and it is very empty and quiet. But just to show you guys, every Leisure Pool here pretty much looks the same. It looks like it goes from three feet all the way to about four and a half feet. I did find signage here at this leisure pool. It says it is open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. I thought all leisure pools were 24 seven. Another note that I do wanna point out to you guys, this resort, all of the rooms are outside rooms. And right on the back side of the pool, you can find another laundry facility as we are here at the Trinidad bus stop. Look how close it is to <laughs> everything. The pool, the laundry, all the buildings are right here. When you are staying at the bigger resort, such as Caribbean Beach, they offer rideshare pickups at each section. And look at this, as Brian is showing us. Oh, yeah, right there. Very convenient. The parks and the water parks are smoke free, but here at the resorts, they do have smoking sections scattered throughout the resort and you can find them, just basically look for somewhat of an ashtray. These are a little more settled than others, but they're here. I'm now on Trinidad's beachfront, 
And look at these giant turtles here on the beach. I know it may be a little hard to see on camera, but Pop Century is right here. Something else to know if you're staying at Trinidad or even Jamaica, which is right here, look, you have a Joffrey's. So your morning coffee, your tea, bagels, pastries, you can get it right here. So that way you don't have to walk or take a bus all the way over to the main lobby. Look at this beverage named after the Skyliner, the Toffee Flight Latte. You can get it hot or iced. The last few things that I want you guys to know, this is the internal shuttle, and this is where you will come right when you get off the Skyliner, if you wanna hop on that bus to take you to each section of the resort. And this is the new drive entrance. Now, the former drive up entrance is now where the Riviera is. So keep that in mind. If it's been a few years, they offer a new drive up entrance to enter the resort as we have a goofy bus pulling up now. And of course, the biggest reason why you should stay here at Disney's Caribbean Beach, well, you have the Skyliner system right here, and this will take you to Hollywood Studios, Epcot, the Riviera, Pop Century, Arts of Animation. That's about it. This resort is beyond quiet it's huge there's lots to do here hopefully i get to stay in one of those rooms very very soon because that just sounds fun you get the entire pirate experience here at this resort i hope i was able to help you guys out by planning your next trip here to walt disney world and if you ever stayed here at caribbean beach what did you think did you like it did you not like it did i miss anything let me know down in the comments as well if you are planning on staying here for your next trip Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. And if you're new here, please subscribe because we do this quite often and make sure you have those notifications turned on and set to always. That way you will always be notified when I release a new video or even go live. Also, make sure you're following along on Instagram. I love you guys. Please remember, it's nice to be nice. And YouTube, I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming. Out. I ain't feeling lonely And I wanna make it start to end the right Fading it too slowly Over those gonna lift me up this time You were the only One who got me tripping up inside All the words you told me